Let's do a new cycle paint job on this S-Works frame set. The client has a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT and an M4 Augusta motorcycle, both coated in the special color Mercedes-Benz Solar Beam Yellow. And now comes this frame and he wants it also coated in this nice color. So let's do a kind of black and solar beam race design. But at first comes the prep. So let's change to the paint job and let's prep the frame and fork for the new design. Look at this shit, it's an S-Works, but the bearing is rusty as hell and sticked in the frame. What a mess. To remove the bottom bracket you need a special tool and also a rubber hammer. And if you want to know how to build this tool, check out my video where I built this simple and easy so you can remove the bottom bracket yourself. No second step before the prep, and that means a lot of sanding. I have a little joke for you. Guess, what's the name of the girlfriend of a professional sander? Sandra. Leave a comment if you understand stupid German jokes. Yes, I'm dirty, but my name's not Harry, and I also don't want to film a five hour drama sanding down the frame. I like to do a short film, so I skip the sanding. Next step is primer, as you might know, and then I can start with some nice solar beam yellow. The frame and fork are stripped, but I'm not really sure how to primer them. Maybe with a black primer or maybe with a white one. So let's flip a coin and let's play head or tail. Head is black and tail is white. Oh, I have to primer white. The primer's on and I bet you know what comes next. Yes, wet sanding. I have to sand the frame and the fork to produce some grip in between the primer and the new base coat and also to smooth the surface. The frame was in the cabin for heat drying and in the meantime I mixed the color, the yellow, the AMG color. And this Mercedes-Benz AMG solar beam contains of three components, these two components a base coat and a kind of pearl and over these two components a layer or two layers of clear coat. But before I can spray the color I have to sand the frame and the fork and that's what I do now. Time for the color and as mentioned I have two components. The first one is a yellow base coat without any effects that gives the solar beam its yellow tone and the second one is a transparent base coat with a lot of pearl in it that gives the color its sparkling effect. So let's grab a spray gun and a spray mask, load the first base coat and let's start to spray the solar beam.
Same procedure as on every frame, I have to cover the complete frame and fork with the yellow base coat before I can change color and spray the effect coat with the pearl in it. A white primer is a must-have and needed to get a brilliant yellow color. So let's start to cover the frame and fork. And that's it. I changed the color to the second base coat with the pearl in it and sprayed on the second layer of color. And the next step will be the black graphics on the frame. Let's talk about the design I have to spray on the frame. I will start with the fork. I have to cut the AMG logo and stick it on the inside of the fork so I can spray the black inside. What I also have to do is I have to cut this checkerboard S-Works logo for the down tube, some smaller logos, SDS for the head tube, the specialized logo for the C-tube and the tarmac for the seat stays. All in all, I have to mask the yellow areas. Then I can change to the paint booth and apply the black in one step. I have also some gray areas like on the top tube behind the AMG logo. I will spray it in another step. But at first I will start with the black, mask all the yellow areas you can see in my sketch. Load the gun and I'm ready to spray the black. I masked the outside of the fork with some tape. The AMG logo is also on and as you can see it's time for some deep black. The fork's done and now I have to mask the frame and as you could see I cut some of these stencils and I will start with the biggest one, the S-Works for the down tube. It's really huge and I hope I will not scrunch this sheet up and I hope I can apply it in one step on the down tube. So wish me luck and I will apply all these masks, it will take an hour or two and then I can change to the paint booth to apply the black. The frame is masked and prepared for the next layer of color, the black. I used some degreaser to clean all these yellow areas I will spray black. So the frame is ready, but instead of using a spray gun, I will use a rattle can for the first layer. And inside this rattle can is a black primer. And as I did in former paint jobs, I will use this black primer to save the expensive black color. And if you want to save also color and money, I recommend to use a thin primer as the first layer. And when the primer is on, I will load my spray gun with the black and it will spray the black over a colored primer. So let's do the rattle can job and then I can change to the paint gun to spray the black.
I changed to the paint gun and loaded some deep black. The prime is dry, but I have to intensify the color. And to do so, I will spray the second layer with deep black and I get a nice deep shine when I add some clear coat on the frame. So let's do it and let's spray the deep black on the frame. So I have to remove all the masking. In the meantime, I sprayed also the silver stripe on the top tube behind the AMG logo. Now I have to remove all mask and hopefully all went well. This takes a while, 10 to 15 minutes, and I will show you the result when I'm ready. Before I can add the clear coat to the frame, I have to spray on some more logos, the specialized S on the head tube, specialized on the seat tube, and also the E3 logos on the seat stays. And then I can change to the paint booth for clear coating and finish. But at first I will add these logos in black. And that's it, the frame is clear coated and for me it's time to put it on a turntable for a nice photo shoot and to start a new cycle painting project. If you want to know more about me, check out also my other videos and see you in one of my next projects. Goodbye. Thank you.